Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a tool um, that is on Igor's lab, similar to the more power tool in the Red BIOS editor. It's a new one. Um, Igor's lab and their team are not liable if you do anything stupid or hurt or damage your card because you overclock or undervolted too much. So just be cautious and be understanding of the situation. Nobody's liable but yourself. Uh, but there is a tool called the more clock tool that will allow you to kind of fine tune some things. Now, I have a little bit of a homework assignment and I would like the community's help on this. I got the 7900 XTX on my Windows system and you will need to have a Windows system. Hive, you can already lock clocks and all that other stuff um, through the actual operating system. So you're fine there. So for people on Windows, uh, what I'm interested to know is uh, if you got a 6000 series or 5000 series uh, GPU, the more clock tool, which is similar to the more power tool, gives you a little bit of more granular detail or fine tuning that you can do to really make the card, especially the 7000 series, a little bit more efficient because the 7000 series is not much you can do. We still can't adjust the memory clocks on these things, but uh, you should be familiar or many of the people that watch this channel are familiar with the more power tool and the red BIOS editor. We used it many times on the 6000 and especially the 5000 series, but the more clock tool is the new one. Um, and obviously Igor had to put a little disclaimer on there, make sure that people understand the risk and as well, uh, don't be silly with it. Um, you could see the compatibility list right here as far as what's compatible with what, like the more clock tool so far, it's like questionable on the Vega 20 or G GCN five or RDNA one. So obviously it may not work for all GPU makes and models, but just, this is why I want to check it out guys. Um, but you know, Navi two. Uh, and Navi 3, it should be available. So 7,000 series, 6,000 series should be good. 5,000 series, a little bit questionable for the more clock tool. But on some of the other ones, you can see what their supporter app as far as the uh, you know compatibility. Down here is a list. All of this will be linked down in the description as long as well as the, you know, a little bit more information or insight about what the tool does. It looks exactly like the more power tool. It's this little guy right here on the right. Uh, where we can adjust the core clock, the min minimum frequency, the uh, max frequency, uh, but we can't adjust the memory clocks at all, no matter how much you try. And despite the fact that hashrate.no says that you should be running on a core intensive algo, 96 megahertz. Uh, even if you can't drop the memory as low, some algos won't even touch the memory, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you could also adjust the voltages, the core voltages, right, right here. Uh, you could adjust the GPU power, fast memory, zero is default, one is uh, fast timings. Um, and then obviously you could play around with the fans and the curves and stuff like that if you wanted to. Uh, what's interesting about this is I, I mentioned this, uh, that if you are using SRB minor, Team Red minor, or something like that with AMD's latest drivers, maybe they fixed it. Uh, but uh, previously you would uh, set lock clocks, right? Lock core clock, lock voltage, or lock memory, whatever. And you would mine and you would mine efficiently. But once you close that program, you go to launch a game or whatever. Unfortunately, those clocks stayed applied, causing your gaming performance or whatever you were doing to obviously be diminished because it was using uh, a clocks meant for mining, not gaming. Well, with this tool, I can easily, you know, just load and save profile similar to the more power tool, exact same thing. So I can load my stock setting or I can uh, go to my core heavy one, whatever it might be. Um, obviously, if it's a memory intensive algorithm, I want to push the memory as far as I can. Uh, but once you get to a certain point, pushing that memory as high as you possibly could, you're going to hit the safety uh, limits and it's going to default everything and actually um, act weird. So you got to find that line. Don't cross it, but try to get next to it. Uh, but you can push the 7000 series to be a little bit more efficient because they're not very attractive and I understand why to many. Unfortunately, more power tool, even though I just downloaded the uh, latest GPU-Z and extracted the BIOS, Unfortunately, when we try to load the BIOS, it still says maximum file size of 1024 kilobytes, uh, which right now it's basically two gigs or two, two megabytes, not gigs. Wow, that'd be a lot. More power tool can't read it. I don't know if there's going to be an update on that. Red BIOS editor can't read the 7000 series, but for the 6000 series and the 5000 series, you can certainly do so. So check it out. Um, I'm going to try to create a Reddit post where I share some insight, but the homework assignment that I would like for the community to uh, help out with is... What I would like to know is uh, what type of GPU model you're using, you know, RX 6900 XT or whatever you got, uh, or 5000 series, whatever, what your core clock, what your best core clock, uh, core voltage and mem clock was, and what was the hash rate and power draw. So a little bit of detail 
for your GPUs uh, using this more uh, more clock tool while mining and tell me or share with the community what your performance data and information was. That's that's basically it. You don't have to participate, but I would greatly appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out some of the links in the description. Don't support the channel and what we do here. And just have yourself a wonderful day, okay? Take care. I'll catch you next one. Thank you.